the tanks is such a big phenomenon because it's actually rooted in reality. And these are actual machines that were built and driven by people, but you don't get to see it every day. You don't get to drive one, but you do in this game, and that's what's really fun. Because it's very quick to get into, get out of, um, and we're, it's always there waiting for you. There's always new content coming out. So you go back to visit the game and there's new things to play with. I think it really resonates with console players. And we're extremely excited to add the PlayStation customers to the World of Tanks console family. What I'm excited about from the PS4 audience is that it's going to be a lot of brand new people to the experience. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how they react because we haven't had that as a studio in a huge chunk of population since we first introduced it. We hope that with adding the PS4, we're finally going to get to some markets that I think have just been looking for a chance to play our game. Particularly in Asia and Europe, I think what we're going to see is that players will now be playing on the PS4. That kind of discovery and newness and fresh eyes is what you feed on as a designer. Because like, I'm not making the game for me, even though I enjoy it. I want people, gamers, to really enjoy it. So I'm excited to see how they react. New players, when they come in, they're seeing a game that they've just downloaded that's actually free, that looks amazing. We slowly kind of roll them into that whole experience of being a tanker, and we start to at a, at a low tier and work your way up. And there's some new stuff coming that I can't really talk about that really, really kind of is going to change the way we train you and what we give you initially, which is really cool. We're putting a lot more work into the first player experience. We recently started adding PVE missions where you go in and you are faced against bots and you're learning on the fly. So this will be helping teach new players in a slightly less intense environment. Because of the more powerful console, we can use better tank models and the guys in Kiev made a lot more art for us, so the new consoles have a lot more memory, so they can hold a lot more textures, they can hold more detailed models. There's always new things going in, different tanks and maps, one of them being the largest map by almost times two ever done in any World of Tanks game, and it's beautiful. One of the things that I was personally responsible for was creating a brand new exclusive map uh, for the PS4 called Scorpion Pass. This thing is enormous. I think it's great that the game's releasing on PlayStation 4. Just to see the progression, um, uh, to see the game advance and the player base hopefully doubles, triples, we know there's even going to be more resources to advance the game. What excites me about World of Tanks is the future. Meeting everybody in Wargaming, it's very evident to me that they love what they do and their mission is to make this game as big of a game as possible. That really excites me as the direction of Wargaming's going to go. With the PS4 launch, we're gonna to move to new consoles, we're gonna to move to new technologies, and we're gonna keep expanding and improving how the game looks and how the game plays. This game is really fun. It's great to play with people or solo on your couch, playing matches or doing PVE. It's a fun experience, it's a strategic experience and even a historical one. And I think that's a neat, interesting combo. It looks beautiful and it's going to continue to even look better as we learn more about the next generation consoles and optimize and add new features to it. So there's still quite a bit more to come.